breakfast gauche? Is this going to be a hit or a failure? See me around Clock and today from Evil Twin Brewing in New York City in America, we have a can of their Wake Up and Smell the Gauche coming in at 6.5% ABV. Now, this is part of the new Tesco range of beers, and this one here is a, apparently an Imperial Breakfast Gauche with blueberry, salt, and natural flavorings. <laughs> so, yeah, interesting. It's, I've had Gauche, I've had actually Gauche in Leipzig, um, one of the places where it sort of really um, originated from out that neck of the woods, um, from Gosler, believe it or not, is where a Gauche come from. So, when they start calling Imperial Breakfast Gauche, you know, a Gauche should be around sort of 4.5% ABV on average. So. I get a bit dubious, so let, let's crack this open. Let's see what it's like. Um, at the moment, I'm dubious to what it's going to be like. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. There we go. First impressions. It's got a slight orange tinge to it. It's clear. Look at the carbonation. It is rocketing away. It's got a beautiful three finger, three to four finger white frothy head on there. Tight white foam. Um, it looks apart. Looks a part of a, a ghost. Maybe a bit more orangey than what you expect with a ghost. and more sort of yellowy in colour. But Hey ho, let's get the aromas. The first thing that hits me, believe it or not, is coffee liqueur. And I'm not making it up. Now, I do believe this company produced a breakfast gauche before. Um, might have been a few years ago now. And they used Ethiopian coffee beans in the brewing. And I'm smelling, literally, on the aroma here, I'm getting coffee. What's that say on here about? I don't usually read the can. Just says Imperial Breakfast Gauche with blueberry salt and natural flavourings. Yeah, nothing of a mention of coffee there at all. But I'm getting I'm getting coffee on the nose. Let's let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. This is the weirdest tasting gauche I've ever had. The blueberries I get from this <coughs> is towards the back end. The front end, you're getting coffee. The 
and this saltiness hits and then I'm getting maple syrup blueberry pancakes I'll oh, give them a jute, they're due. It, it, it does <laughs> taste like a New York breakfast, I suppose. <laughs> you know, coffee and blueberry maple syrup pancakes. Um, that's all I can describe it as. Why call it a gauche? I do not know. Um, I think that side of it disappoints me I think I should have called it a sour as opposed to a gauche because this is nothing like a gauche whatsoever um, they're just using the name because it's got the, the, the salt and the lac lactic acid in it to give it that sourness like a gauche but you know why wouldn't they just call the beer a sour um, why wouldn't they just call it Imperial breakfast sour with blueberry. That's my opinion. It's it's okay. It's not brilliant. Would I buy it again? No, I don't think I would. It's it's a muddle on your on your taste buds it's really salty it's really lactic acid um, you used to drink two cans of this you probably get heartburn um, I don't think it's that good to be honest it's three quid a can um, People will buy it because of the hype, but it's not that good at all. It's it's mediocre in my opinion. This beer, very very mediocre. Um, if that's what Tesco's are now going to do, is just put mediocre beers on their shelves in these new batches. Um, I'll just stick to drinking. I'll just stick to drinking stuff like Camden Hills and and Sierra Nevada and the stuff we know about and you know th um, Jaipur that sort of thing and I won't bother buying any of this this other stuff they're putting in because it's not looking good Tesco's this is the first one I've had out the new batch and it's nothing to to write home about it's, it's mediocre I'm afraid to say um, not as bad as that that other one um, we've I poured down the toilet don't get me wrong, it's drinkable, it's just... I think if it was called a sour, I would be phrasing it up a bit more. But because it's called a gauche, and it's nowhere near what I consider to be a proper gauche. Um, a proper gauche doesn't have coffee, blueberries, and, and that sort of thing attached to it. I think, I think they need to, these brewers need to sort of stick if you're going to do a gauche do a gauche and do it properly any other thing that's sour like this call it a sour call it a sour beer end of we know where we we know what we're looking at then we know if we walk along the shelves it's 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 a sour not a gauche um and that's my only gripe so look get hold of a can try it see what you think leave a comment below give it a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night <coughs> tt says never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly <laughs>